Good evening. Welcome back to my late night spook show here on the Horror and Metal channel. I'm Hellhound. And if I were going to list my uh, top 10 favorite metal albums from the year 1986. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. Number 10 is going to be Orgasmatron by Motorhead. Yeah, it's a great album. Now, Lemmy and Company, Lemmy and Company <laughs> did a great job on it. Uh, I think my favorite song is actually the title track, which is the last track on the album. Yeah, really good stuff. Really good music on this recording. For sure. So, uh, check it out if you haven't already. Orgasmatron by Motorhead. Fantastic record. Number nine is going to be Darkness Descends by Dark Angel, which I think was their last to feature vocalist Don Doty before he was replaced with Ron Reinhardt. Um, yeah, they were uh, they were an awesome band. It's, uh, they're mo they're most well known for uh, having the drum talent, drum skills of uh, the legendary Gene Hoagland, uh, of course, behind the drum kit. So, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, everybody does a great job for sure. Yeah, great album. Darkness to Sins by Dark Angel. I think I've reviewed this on my channel before, so for more info, check that out. Yep, it's a great album. Number eight, Rage for Order by Queensryche. Oh, yeah. I love Jeff Tate's singing voice. He's one of my favorite singers. He can hit those high notes like it's nobody, nobody's business. Uh, I love Chris DeGar DeGarmo's uh, riffs and solos. His guitar playing is just on point. I really wish that they were both still in the band, but the current lineup is really good, too, for sure. Yeah, they obviously had their uh, stuff well-researched when they released this album because it's a great one. Yeah, so many great songs. Yeah, lots of great tracks on this one. Yeah, Rage Forward by Queensryche, my eighth favorite uh, metal album from 1986. <clears throat> uh, number seven is going to be Pleasure to Kill by Creator, which is their second uh, album. And uh, back when they still had... Uh, Jurgen Venter Real, the drummer, doing vocals on a lot of the tracks. I liked how him and Millie Petroza switched off on uh, on vocals back then. It sounded really cool. Um, yeah, he had a great voice on uh, Ride of Violence. That was really, really awesome. Oh, yeah. Great thrash metal band. Uh, and they're, uh, they're one of the heaviest uh, thrash metal bands, too, I would say. Yeah, the Flag of Hate. <laughs> yep, Pleasure to Kill by Creator. Great album. Number six, Seventh Star by Black Sabbath, my favorite band. Um, now, originally, this was originally supposed to be a Tony Iommi solo album, but the studio wanted them, wanted them to make it a, release it as a Black Sabbath album. So it, they, it became Black Sabbath featuring Tony Iommi. That's why he's on the cover. Um, and it featured the, the vocal skills of legendary uh, Glenn Hughes, who actually didn't play bass on the album. He just sang on it. Uh, I really love the title track. I think that's a fantastic song. I think it's a very underrated album in Black Sabbath's discography. So uh, definitely check it out if you haven't already. You won't be disappointed. It's it's really, really good. All right, down to the top five. Number five is going to be Fatal Portraits by King Diamond. Yeah, I love this band. I love King Diamond. His high-pitched falsettos and ghostly wailing is just uh, just amazing. He's one of my heroes. Uh, the man needs to direct a horror movie, or at least write one. Um, yeah, and I also love Andy LaRock's guitar playing. It's just so spectacular. Um, yeah, everybody does a great job. Um, yeah, this is one of the few King Diamond albums. It was their debut album, but it's one of the few uh, King Diamond albums that isn't a concept album, aside from a few tracks uh, that are, are conceptual. Um, yeah, Voices from the Past is a great track. Yeah, really good stuff. Fatal Portrait by King Diamond. They're first and uh, still one of their best. All right, number four is going to be Peace Sells, But Who's Buying by Megadeth. Yeah, you know this had to be on here. It's a masterpiece, a thrash metal masterpiece. Yeah, Dave Mustaine and company did a phenomenal job on it. It's uh, probably my second favorite album of theirs next to Rust in Peace. Um, it's just so good. Here we got Wake Up Dead, The Conjuring, uh, the title track, Devil's Island. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just great. It's absolutely phenomenal in every way. Check it out. 
Number three, Somewhere in Time, Iron Maiden. Yeah, all kinds of great tracks on this one. Yeah, Caught Somewhere in Time, Wasted Years, uh, Sea of Madness, Heaven Can Wait, Stranger in a Strange Land, which is my favorite song on the album, Deja Vu. Deja Vu. Um, yeah, just great. Yeah, awesome cover art, too, inspired by uh, Blade Runner, I think. Yeah. Yeah, great stuff. Up the Irons, Maiden Rules, and Somewhere in Time is a uh, testament to their greatness. Number two is going to be Rain in Blood by Slayer. Uh, one of the heaviest things they've ever um, come out with, and one of the heaviest thrash metal records for sure. Um, yeah, we got Angel of Death, Piece by Piece, Necrophobic, Altar of Sacrifice. Um, oh, with the title track, well, sort of, Raining Blood. Um, Aggressive Perfector, which is a uh, Judas Priest uh, cover. Yeah, great stuff. Long Live Slayer. Yeah, Tom Mariah truly was the voice of hell back then. Hit those low demonic grunts, those high-pitched screams. Uh, it was just phenomenal. Uh, Kerry King and Jeff Hanneman's guitar playing was on point. Their wrists and solos are just immaculate. Uh, Dave Lombardo's beats are just breathtaking. Uh, yeah, just a truly unique package of uh, thrash metal perfection. Honorable mentions, if I think any, of any, I'll leave them in the description below, so check that. And uh, as for the number one, um, the, my number one favorite uh, metal album from 1986 is going to be none other than Master of Puppets from Metallica. Oh yeah, great, great album. Um, yeah. Yeah, James Hetfield's vocals were so great back then. Um, Kirk Hammett's leads, uh, Cliff Burton's legendary bass playing, even uh, Lars Ulrich's drums were, uh, were on point. Um, we got Battery, the title track, Thing That Should Not Be, Welcome Home, Disposable Heroes, Leper Messiah, Orion, the instrumental, uh, and Damage Incorporated. Yeah, it's all killer, no filler. This is a phenomenal album. I absolutely love it. Just thrash metal perfection. It's a masterpiece um, through and through. Master of Puppets on Metallica. Awesome, awesome record. All right, guys, well, those are my choices. Uh, be sure to leave yours in the uh, comments below. As always, thank you for watching my Late Night Spook Show here on the Horror and Metal channel. I'm Hellhound. Until next time, later.